to go. On the sixth floor. Yeah, we think they were working up there, but right. Can you show, show me where your panel is, please? Yeah. And the best way to get to the sixth floor. Uh, we've had, it. We've had uh, I believe, three casualties at the minute have been rescued from the area that's been identified. So the incident commander now has confirmed where the fire is and confirmed where we need to be searching uh, for the remaining casualties. That area now they're looking to set up a search sector, so a designated person will be responsible for identifying an area where, can, where we can concentrate our resources to carry on searching for the remaining casualties. It's an invaluable exercise for our crews. As mentioned earlier, we have a legislative requirement to carry out a certain number of exercises and gather information, risk information, on developments within the city to ensure that if uh, responding, our crews respond and they're up to date with all the information and the latest techniques. We're extremely thankful to Jackson & Jackson Development Company who have allowed us to use their building to carry out this fantastic scenario. And what do you think the firefighters will also take from this experience? Uh, it, it, again, it's an invaluable experience. Thankfully, we don't have many of these types of incident for real thankfully but if we do the crews can go away they've got an awareness now that they've trained for real in a real life building and we've actually set up what we need to set up for real should such an event occur. Yeah I think it's really important because at the end of the day um, things can go wrong and if you're in a position where you, you're, you're running buildings and that kind of thing then you obviously want um, the fire rescue team on your side as much as possible so I think it's invaluable for them really to to demonstrate, test all of their communications, do all the training they need to do that otherwise they might have to do in a, in a real situation.